How does a cough happen? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. <laughs> huh? What is the science behind blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Hmm. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. What is the science behind spider webs? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Hmm. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. Hmm. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. <laughs> hmm. How is gold formed? Simple. Gold is formed like this. Oh, chum pum. <laughs> Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs, as in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth stirring huh? its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What exactly huh? is altitude sickness? I think, I think, I think it might be a burger or a pizza. Oh, chum pum. We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. Hmm. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house mini needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due huh? to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. What is mpox? Simple. When monkey eats a pox, he becomes an mpox. Oh, chum pum. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, 
and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox is rarely fatal. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple. To do belly dance. Oh, chump pum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Mm. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. <gasps> oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create <laughs> dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any huh? visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. What are headaches? No idea. But Chum Pum can give a headache to anybody. Oh, Chum Pum. The pain that we sometimes experience in our upper neck or head is commonly called a headache. Headache is not an indication of our brain hurting. In fact, the brain does not have any pain receptors to experience pain. Headaches are commonly caused due to inflammation or overactivity of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels in our head or neck. Migraine is a common example of this type of headache. Hmm. What is sleep paralysis? Simple. This is sleep paralysis. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Sleep paralysis usually occurs when we are dreaming in a REM sleep, as in rapid eye movement sleep. Researchers suggest that when we enter REM sleep, two chemicals, huh? as in GABA and glycine, switch off the activity of our cells. This is done to stop us from enacting our dreams and getting hurt. Huh? Hmm. Now, if we suddenly wake up during the REM sleep, but if GABA and glycine are still active, then even though we are conscious, we are temporarily unable to move. This is called as sleep paralysis. Hmm. Why do our feet stink? Nah, only Chum Pum's hands stink. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. The reason is bacteria. Bacteria love to grow in damp and dark places like our sweaty shoes. Also, they multiply easily in sweat. So if we don't wear socks, then their numbers will increase rapidly. The bacteria eat the oils as well as the dead skin cells from our skin. Now, these bacteria start getting rid of the waste in the form of organic acids. These organic acids basically give our feet that bad smell. Hmm.